All right guys, so I figured if I'm gonna mount that new box on the back for the batteries, now is my chance to install this thing here, which is the volt and current meter. This basically has a, a DC in pair and a load pair. So what I'm gonna try to do with this is mount it in this small little project box I have, mount it here, and then somehow mount it on the bike not sure how I'm going to do that just yet because the uh, the control base is already pretty pretty stacked, but mount it somewhere here or maybe even here. I'm not sure, but I ran two pairs of wire. One's going to have to go to the uh, full 48 volts of the battery, and the other one's going to have to go to the controller to measure the current. So I'm just trying to figure out that now. If I look at my controller here, on the battery poles, here and here, I'm going to have to tap into these two wires to get the current reading. So I don't think it's going to be too difficult. I'm just going to run, I'm just going to run a couple of cables just sort of, you know, in parallel with these two wires and then run them up the back. And then obviously the, uh, the main power cables are going to have to come from the, uh, the series connector. The main power is going to have to come from this wire. I'm going to have to splice in somewhere here or... I hate splicing wire. I don't know if there's a better way for me to do it with a connector. I'm not really sure right now. But yeah, I might have to splice into this. Anyways. So right now I'm just splicing into the positive wire that goes into the controller battery. And I'm going to just solder this to the little connector here. And then on the other side, I'm going to put a Tamiya connector so that if I ever need to take the controller out, I'm not stuck with you know, a cable that I have to remove from the uh, connector side. So. To the load now so that should be better and all I have to do now is put the opposite connector on that side sand down the top a little bit. How are the wires gonna run? Uh, hmm. From the side maybe? Probably gonna have to come in from this side. So there's a little tiny hole. Okay, so I've got all the wiring set up here, but I think this piece of shit volt amp meter is not working properly. 0 0.3 amps, 0 0.4 amps, 0 0.7 amps, 3.3 watts? No, 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 no. That's not right. That is not right. The voltage is correct. Well, intelligent focus, no, nobody? If I hook up my amp meter to where I tapped into controller, right, okay, and... 
memory at 0.6, 1.0, 1 .1 full throttle, 2.2 at full throttle. So, shit. Guys, did I do something wrong in the wiring? Let me show you what I did here. Here's what I did. I ran two pairs of cable wire. So I have, here's what I have. Here's my controller. Here is where the main power goes in. So positive, negative. I spliced a wire here. Sorry, spliced the wire in each side, positive, negative. That goes back to this ammeter on the load side, positive, negative. And then the regular, the DC in is the same thing. Off the main power feed, here's the series cable. Here's where the main 48 volts are coming in. And I spliced again in here to a connector to power this thing. So, I don't know, one's power and one's, one's load. I don't understand. Or is this thing just shot? Anyways guys, let me know. I'm gonna, I don't know, I think I'm just gonna put this away for now. Because my guess right now is this thing is shot. Uh, yeah.